Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondian here. Uh, welcome to the Athena Pondian channel. Uh, we actually did some of the uh, good things to the biomedical engineering field. Uh, we are motivating some of the students, uh, freshers and researchers. We have posted some of the videos and we have posted, we have published some of the books and all the things. Uh, our incorporation, that is Athena Pondian Private Limited, uh, uh, we newly started uh, a new branch at Kuttalam. Uh, it is in Tamil Nadu, India. So in that, uh, what we are doing is, what are all the things we did in the online? Because already we know that uh, uh, we are did some good things in online. We are doing a, a online training, that is medical equipment training, um, that is our job scope training, and then um, we are providing some of the uh, uh, books for uh, biomedical engineering students, and also we are conducting some of the uh, certificate courses, that is all relating to biomedical engineering. What we did, what we are, uh, uh, what is the change in this particular new branch is, what are all the things we did in the online is, we are supposed to did in this offline. That is, uh, um, in the, we are separately open office in the Kuttalam. It is in, like, uh, repeatedly I am saying, it is in Kuttalam, exactly in Tamil Nadu, uh, Tenkasi district in India. Uh, what is the difference between the online and this particular offline office is, uh, uh, we are having some of the medical equipments here, uh, 30 plus medical equipments here, very useful medical equipments here. Uh, straight away we call the students and give a training here and uh, we just uh, give a only 10 days of training for all the medical equipments for only 10 members. We are dividing that particular uh, training into the four different batches, uh, first, second, three and four. Each and every batches it includes only 10 members. Uh, in the 10 days of training, we are supposed to give a, a medical equipment, how to calibrate the medical equipment, how to demonstrate the medical equipment and how to uh, troubleshooting the medical equipment. Uh, it, this is very useful for the biomedical engineering, especially those who are pursuing biomedical engineering. Uh, in the laboratory sessions, they are not having any much of uh, uh, medical equipment, costly medical equipment there. In the laboratory session, uh, we, we have uh, uh, patient monitors, we have some of the diatomy and uh, the not even they doesn't have any defibrillators and all. But in our office, we have some of the 30 plus most useful biomedical equipment that is used in the ICU and operation theater and some of the uh, ophthalmological, dental and uh, departments. So that kind of equipment will give much amount of clarity once you come here to learn something. Okay, so this is the um, thing we are newly started and these are all the things available and newly here. And apart from this, along with this particular medical equipment training, we are providing some of the job offers also because uh, uh, I already told you we are just dividing the batches into four. The batches uh, the started from December 1st, uh, December 1st to December 12 is the first batch, December 14 to December 24 is the second batch, um, December January 2 to January 12, 2021 is third batch and from January 18 to January 28th is the uh, fourth batch. So like that, uh, we, uh, currently we are uh, uh, dividing the batch. Each and every batch, it includes only 10 students all over the world. Only 10 students, we have only we can able to concentrate more on it. Because if you are, for the money sake, we are increasing the count, then the knowledge sharing is minimum. So that is what we are uh, limited the count of only 10 members. Our trainers and along with me, we are giving a much amount of training about each and every equipment from the uh, um, from each and every day. It starts from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. every day on the training. And along with that, we are giving a, a, a separate manual. Separate manual. Manual in the sense, not like a catalog. It is a fully described about each and every equipment. 30 different books we can able to give for uh, uh, the participants and uh, at the end of the session. And also we are providing a free accommodation. Free accommodation here. So elsewhere, wherever you can, you can able to come here and use shelter accommodation. Uh, along with the along with the training office also we have uh, some of the cottage that is a full secured cottage and food only we are not supposed to uh, give you that is take care of yourself so this is our full plan of this particular new office so now what i am going to say is uh, i am going to uh, show you what are all the equipments we have and what are all the uh, thing we are supposed to do further all the things okay um, so come let me start go our lab and what all the things we have to discuss about. 
So this is the uh, lab one we have. We have totally uh, three different labs. Of, uh, it is full of uh, engaged with the medical equipments. Here uh, your training and everything is supposed to happen here itself. So uh, for the one, uh, what we want, we are supposed to see. This is the ultrasound. This is actually everybody knows that this is an uh, ultrasound machine. What we are going to uh, see in this particular ultrasound during the training is uh, uh, we are we are training you how we can able to use this ultrasound to the patient. Okay, we are supposed to demonstrate each and every parts, every nerves what has happened in this particular ultrasound. We are talking about the probe and what are all the parts inside in this particular probe. Of course, you all know that uh, uh, probe is a very important um, part, uh, uh, especially in this particular ultrasound. And what are the parts available in this particular uh, uh, probe? And what is the difference between this particular uh, linear probe and cardiac probe? And what are all the each and every knobs I will teach you? Okay, so our training will explain you all these particular knobs and how to manage it and how to demonstrate it and how to use this particular particular ultrasound. Okay, and then we have a, a mobile X-ray is also there. We can able to use this particular mobile X-ray anywhere else. So this is the 20 ma mobile. Uh, I'm sorry, X-ray ration, X-ray. So we are supposed to. What are the things you are supposed to see in this particular uh, uh, equipment in the training is? Uh, we are teaching how far we can able to use this particular knobs. How we can able to use this particular knobs to uh, uh, reduce the radiations and how we will teach you what are the different sort of radiations available and what are the different sort of radiations we need to give during the during your studies. Uh, uh, you are uh, you are supposed to go for uh, hospital training and for internship you are going somewhere. But uh, what is there? What they did was because of the security purpose they are not allowed you even touch the particular equipment. But here we are supposed to give the demonstration. We are doing the hands-on training about this particular equipment. How we can able to use this knob, each and every knob, and how the exposure will happen, and what are all the things we are supposed to use, and what are all the things we are not supposed to uh, use during that time of uh, um, uh, that during the time of the radiation exposure. All these things we are supposed to use. Okay. So here, uh, um, this is the coronary tube. This is the X-ray tube actually. Uh, I will explain you theoretically what is the things present inside it and then we are supposed to show you how the porridge tube is arranged inside and what is the error and what is the uh, cathode we will show. So all of this demonstration, all this demonstration and how the principle is activated. Uh, that is, uh, we know that the principle of the fast moving electrons is suddenly stopped by the metal target. That particular metal target, it will remit some of the radiations called as the X-radiations. Okay. So that kind of principle, how would this happen. So all these things we will uh, show you during uh, uh, that uh, during this particular training. Okay. And then this particular thing, the next equipment what we are going to say is uh, uh, phototherapy. Okay. The, this particular phototherapy unit is especially used for uh, uh, giving the ultraviolet radiation, uh, UV radiation for maintaining the uh, temperature. Okay. For maintaining the temperature of the infant. Okay. So this particular thing uh, having some of the few number of LEDs. You know, Few number of LEDs are there, so we, we are so each and every thing has some of the different intensities. So, what is the need of this particular uh, LEDs, and what is the uh, difference between all these intensities, all the things we discussed about? And along with that, we have the trolley, and along with that, we have uh, the incubator section also. So, this is the uh, some of the minor equipments we have. Of course, you are all know well known about this particular spigmo manometer, and we have the photo photo corrector. This is this particular corrector is used in uh, ophthalmology to uh, visualizing or vis to measuring the uh, uh, power range of the eye. So this is uh, this is what we have some of the humidifier. Humidifier is also there. We are just demonstrating how to use this particular humidifier and what is the purpose of this particular humidifier. All the things and then we have some of the uh, uh, physiotherapy equipment called the uh, hammer massager. Hammer massager we have and then we have. The excellent equipment that is called as the dosi. This particular dosi is very useful to measuring almost uh, uh, 6 to 10 vital parameters. This particular thing is fully made up of sensors. So how it is functioning, how we can able to inbuilt the 11 to 12 sensor inside this particular mouse like structure, all the things we will demonstrate and how we can able to use this particular dosi to our uh, in our home, all the things we will explain. And then we have uh, 
we have some uh, ventilator this is the, this is nothing but a, a ambulatory ventilator actually it is especially used in ambulance not we are not supposed to uh, see this particular uh, uh, ventilator in uh, any hospitals it is used especially in uh, uh, ambulance for the emergency purpose and we have some uh, uh, infusion parameters uh, three pumps also there from, from the doctor ordin uh, equipment that is also a ordin company and then come to the next slide in the next lab we have some of the equipment uh, of course we have some of the black and white portable ventilator uh, sorry portable uh, ultrasound there and we have some of the physiotherapy equipments also here and we have ecg machine we have the physiotherapy equipment and we have the portable ecg from the common company name called common and then we have the ultrasound inside it and we have infusion pump syringe pump diathermy and then blood glucometer and fetal doppler and of course nowadays it is very popular it is nothing but a thermogram uh, i'm sorry uh, it is nothing but a thermometer there is non touchable thermometer we have so this is also it includes some of the infusion pump and then uh, we have uh, the body massager as like as we saw before this is also a body massager used especially in uh, uh, acupuncture and uh, physiotherapy and then apart from these labs we have the lab 3 and lab 4 we have the lab 3 we have the lab 3 and lab 4 in that some of the dental equipments and ophthalmological equipments are also there uh, due to some of the security purpose due to some of the uh, uh, security purpose we are not supposed to uh, uh, view that particular lab 3 and lab 4 so all this totally a uh, 35 plus equipments are there we have so these kind these equipments are supposed to uh, give to you for the training uh, during the time of training we will demonstrate you we will uh, train you how to use that and what are all the electronic parts inside the each and every equipment how it function it all the things we will explain during the time of training so okay these are all the things we did in this particular 10 days of internship so uh, that's all uh, we we are i am supposed to give a brief explanation about the uh, our uh, company i i will uh, i can able to say only the lab one and lab two Uh, lab 3 and lab 4 is also available it is also included some of the dental equipments and ophthalmological equipments and some of the ic equipments also and uh, so this is the thing we are supposed to do along with that we have some of the uh, experts uh, for giving a job training okay if in case the particular participants is extraordinary they are giving good performance during the internship then we provide a job offers not only in our company we are having some of the tie up with some of the good companies uh, uh, we are supposed to uh, recommended the persons those who are performing well during the internship to the companies okay so this is what we are supposed to did in this particular office um, if you are interested or if you are know about other details you can able to see our website that is www.athinapandit.com you can able to get some more amount of uh, details about uh, this particular medical equipment training and everything or if you have any clarification you can able to mail me or you can able to uh, uh, give a command give a uh, queries to the command box so that's all about this particular video i hope you can able to understand about what are all the things we are did in we are going to we are uh, doing this particular uh, especially the kutralam office thanks a lot and thanks a lot for your support and keep on uh, uh, motivating you are you are you are all the people you are keep on motivating me to do all these kind of activities okay thank you very much we will meet in the next video thanks a lot